Hello viewers, welcome to Eka My Second. Today we are going to discuss about a recent initiative in which India joined as a member that is Globe Network. So what is this Globe Network and what is the main aspect of Globe and then what are all the member countries and who actually started this initiative and what are all the nodal agencies from India and all other important aspects will be discussing in a quick and informative video. So first let us see the main topic of discussion is globe network as i told you just now india has recently joined as a member in this network so then what is this particular globe network so globe full form stands for global operation network of anti corruption law enforcement agencies or authorities that means all anti corruption related law enforcement authorities network is nothing but globe network then when was it actually launched means it was launched in the year 22 and this was initiative of G20. So G20 has launched this particular initiative called Globe Network. And it was launched at UN General Assembly Summit on Anti-Corruption Related Summit. It was launched in 2022. Then how many are member countries in this initiative now? 121 or member countries. And what is the main objective? To ensure that there will be good cooperation in mechanism in fighting the corruption. And there will also have some stringent anti-corruption related provisions then then we also need to understand what are all the nodal agencies from indian side in this particular initiative means we have cbi and ed so you know cbi is already interested with fighting corruption in india not only this we also have ed these are all the main participants in from the indian side in this globe network and who is the central agency from india means it is ministry of home affairs so india will be represented by ministry of home affairs but these two institutions are also part of globe network and you know like cbi was established mainly on the recommendations of santanam committee based on prevention of corruption act then our, you know ed is the main or main agency which will ensure that there is prevention of money laundering act and all money laundering cases will be dealt by ED. So these are the things you need to understand. And then we also have another organization which is associated with this is United Nations Office on Drug and Crime. So this organization was established in the year 1997, especially to fight illegal drug trafficking in organized crime. And then what is the main aspect you have to understand is this is headquartered in Vienna of Austria. And it also releases World Crime Report. It is also very much important because once UPSC have asked a question on this particular organization. Then coming to what are all the organizations or all the mechanisms that we have in India to fight corruption. So you know corruption is a offense according to Prevention of Corruption Act 1988. Then we have PMLA of 2002. Then we have Binami Transactions Prohibition Act. Right. And then we also have CVC, one type of body, statutory body. Then we have CBI to fight against corruption. And then we have Lokpal and Lokayukta also to fight corruption. Lokayukta. And then we also have Whistleblowers Protection Act. Whistleblowers Protection Act and we also have Citizen Startup Social Audit. So these type of mechanisms are already part and you can also include e-governance, right? So all these are the main mechanisms and laws or institutions we have to fight against corruption, right? So this is one and let us see the practice question for the day with reference to the prohibition of Binami tra Property Transaction Act consider the following statements. First one, a property transaction is not treated as Binami transaction if the owner of the property is not aware of the transaction. Then property is held Binami or liable for confiscation by the government. Then act provides for three authorities for investigation but doesn't provide any appellate mechanism. So among these which you feel is the correct answer try to put your answer in the comment section. Then. As we have reached end of the video, today we have discussed on the occasion that India has joined global network or globe network, which is mainly there to deal with corruption related aspects. And we also have seen what is the brief facts about globe network, who initiated this, how many are member countries to this. And we also have seen who is representing India along with UNODC, UNODC means United Nations Office on Drug and Crime, along with 
other aspects related to corruption in India. So this is what we have discussed in today's video. If you like the video and found informative, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for joining. All the very best.